Hi, it's Dr. Weiner, Steve Weiner, and what I'm doing is I'm introducing you to Restylane Refine, that's with a Y. It's the brand new product from Restylane, from Galderma. It's been used in Europe and called Emerville, but now in the States it's called Restylane Refine. So what is Restylane Refine? Well, it's a new product that integrates with the tissues better than other products. It has expression technology so that when it is injected, your expressions are, uh, it, it moves with your expressions. So you can't see the filler when you, with movement. So that, that's the big key with this product. Refine is for more superficial fills, and Define, with a D-E-F-Y-N-E, -E, is for more deeper fills. So it's never been tried before in the States, but I'm gonna inject it, uh, Refine into the lips in Janice, one of my uh, employees. So she's had topical on, for about 10 minutes, and that numbs the lips a little bit. But we also use our tech machine, and this it has cooling down to about 38 to 40 degrees, and that helps uh, numb the lips. And we also use a uh, vibration technique with the gate theory, and the gate theory is, is that if you give the brain more than one stimulus, hopefully it um, processes the vibration, more than the painful stimulus, so it helps with comfort. So Janice is a little bit unusual. She's had implants uh, done in her lips a long time ago. It was with Gore-Tex, and it's completely integrated now with her lips, and it's all shriveled up, so, so it can't be removed. Um, it wasn't done by me. Um, so right now, we're going to kind of inject on top of those old implants. And I'm using a, a 30 gauge needle. I'm gonna give it a try. And we'll go in here. And I'm injecting in an anti-grade fashion. I have to do it very slowly because the product is kind of thick. So I do it in between what we call the wet and the dry border. I'm sorry, we do it in between the wet dry border and the vermilion border. So halfway, the wet dry border is the junction between the wet lip and the dry lip, and this is the vermilion border, and I'm doing it right in the middle of those two. I'm doing it in an anti-grade fashion, so I'm injecting as I go. And I, when, I, when I come back to, it, or when I go forward, I, inject, I start the injection in an area that has had prior injection, so it's more comfortable. So this shouldn't be a bloody, bruisey procedure. It should be very comfortable. So now I'm gonna to go to the lower lip. In the lower lip, you don't start on the corners. You start about a uh, third. You, you inject in the middle two thirds. So I come right here, and I'm just below the surface, and I'm doing it in an anti-grade fashion and I come back into an area that's been previously injected and I'm marching forward and I'm doing very slow injections and then so in the lower lip the lower lip has a tubercle in the middle on either side so it's going to have a tubercle here and a tubercle here and the upper lip has a tubercle right there so you don't want to make the lower lip straight like a sausage, like I see often on Instagram. So you can come back and enlarge this tubercle slightly. So you come back here and you just give the tubercle a little lift, okay? Now I'm going to do the other side. So I also feel that it's very important that you use sharp uh, needles and after several pokes the needle gets dull so I change the needle these needles are the ones that come with Restylane silk and I've used about point just about 0.4 cc in her lips so now I'm coming back here and in the upper lip you do do you do go to the corners and I'm doing an anti-grade and I come back anti-grade, that means pushing and injecting at the same time, anti-grade, 
And then once I get to the Cupid's bow area, I leave it there a little bit longer and I inject a little bit more. Okay, so now we come back to the lower lip. Remember, you don't go all the way to the edge. You bring it in. Anti-grade fashion. Anti-grade injection. Anti-grade. And then give a little more for the medial, for these tubercles. So now the lip is rather full. And now I'm going to show you, I'm going to do the corners of the lip a little bit. Her corners come down. So what I do is I, I get to the very corner and I boost it with a little pillar of filler. And I do this in a retrograde fashion. Okay, and I come over here, same thing. Go in the corner the commissure and come back down. And then you can also boost the corner by doing an injection this way. And that turns the corner up nicely. And I'm gonna do the same over here. And then sometimes a little poof in the uh, cupids and filtrum, um, so you go like this. So it's a very smooth filler. You can hardly feel it, which is really cool. So now I'm just gonna, because the ratio of the bottom lip should be bigger than the top lip, so I'm gonna give a little bit more into the bottom lip particularly in the middle. And I'll be done in that one second here. I'm going to do a little bit more. Now you can tell there is absolutely no bruising with this entire procedure. And there we go. So, Restylane Refine in the lips, a CC, no bruising, no swelling, it actually feels really good. I always like to just feel around for product to see if there's clumping and there's none. It's extremely smooth. It integrates with the tissues. Maintain the landmarks, the tubercles on the bottom. Don't inject in the lateral aspect of the lower lip. The upper lip go all the way to the commissure. Improve the cupid's bow. And there you have it. She has a nice Paris uh, white roll right here, which is nice because it turns up the lip and it helps with the upper lip lines. So that's Dr. Weiner injecting Restylane Refine, new product on the market. Come and get it. Thank you.